Hello students, in this video, we'll talk about the supraspinal inhibition of pain sensation. The dorsal horn represents a gate in which impulses in the nociceptor nerve fibers are modulated or gated by other sensory inputs and impulses in the descending fibers. Please watch my video on gate control theory of pain and I'll put the link of the video in the description box. Now, in this video, we'll talk about the, how the pain pathway can be modulated by the impulses in the descending fibers, which is called as the supraspinal inhibition of pain. Now, we have uh, the periaqueductal gray area, which is a part of the descending uh, analgesic system, which modulates the pain transmission. The periaqueductal gray area neurons are the enkephalinergic neurons, which release the opioid peptides when stimulated. The periaqueductal gray area neurons activate the serotonergic neurons present in the nucleus raphe magnus. The nucleus raphe magnus is located in the lower pons and the upper medulla, which project down to influence the dorsal horn neurons of the spinal cord by activating the inhibitory interneuron, which releases the Enkephalins. The periaqueductal gray area neurons also project to the brainstem catecholaminergic neurons present in the locus ceruleus. These neurons release the neurotransmitter norepinephrine in the dorsal horn. The inhibitory interneuron, when it is activated, it causes presynaptic inhibition in the dorsal horn and reduces the transmission of the painful stimulus. This is called as the supraspinal inhibition of pain, also called as the endogenous descending analgesic system. The supraspinal inhibition of the pain is uh, the reason for the analgesic effect of acupuncture. And acupuncture activates the ascending sensory pathway, which emits collaterals in the periaqueductal gray area and the brainstem nucleus raphe magnus and locus ceruleus and cause the supraspinal inhibition of pain. This is also the basis of stress-induced analgesia. As we know, limbic system is a seat of emotions, which when stimulated, the fibers from the limbic system, they supply the periaqueductal gray area. And this explains uh, why a soldier, when he's injured in the battlefield, may feel no pain during the battle. The gate control theory, the touch fibers, which uh, are activated, they go via the dorsal column medial laminiscal pathway and while ascending to the thalamus they give off the collaterals to the reticular formation which would activate the periaqueductal gray area and the descending fibers of the endogenous analgesic system. This um, the modulation of pain in meditation and hypnosis is also by activating the periaqueductal gray area neurons of the descending analgesic system. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel Simple Concepts in Medical Physiology for more videos.